So in some cases, you might not want to actually create a virtual environment for every project you do, especially if you make a lot of different projects. So in this one, we're going to actually discuss a wrapper, which is a virtual environment wrapper, which basically allows you to activate any particular virtual environment uh, that might have different settings for it and keep all the virtual environments separate from the actual projects themselves. Um, so to do that, it's fairly straightforward. If we do pip freeze, we'll see that we have, um, we, you might not have actually anything installed on your pip freeze besides virtual environment. Uh, virtual environment installed is having is a good idea. So what I'm gonna do here is I'll do pip install virtual env wrapper dash win. And what this is doing is it's downloading the virtual environment wrapper. It will also download uh, virtual environment if you don't have that installed already, uh, which is okay. So as it's doing that, I actually want to go into my environment variables. So into the system and then advanced system settings, environment variables. Okay, so in here, uh, we're gonna create a new variable and you can call this variable whatever you wanna call it, but I'm gonna call it work on. And then the value for it is percent user profile percent all caps and then backslash env envs so e capital e envs and you say okay say okay okay and then in our let's actually take a look at that if we look in our user profile we'll see that we have nothing in here called envs so let's actually go back into command prompt and we'll do we'll just type out work on up oh, and it says please activate one of the virtual environments we actually need to make one now so mk now instead of before with virtual environment you just type out virtual environment and then the name of the virtual environment in this case we do mk virtual env and then the name of that virtual environment so if you wanted to do like 17 for Django version 1.7 or 16 for 1.6. You can hit make virtual environment 16 and it's gonna take a second and actually go ahead and install the virtual environment um, with the wrapper on there. And then uh, what we see also in our folders is ENVs came up and then 16 is in there and it's installing setup tools and pip and it already activated that virtual environment for us. So if I deactivate it uh, and then I do work on 16, it activates the virtual environment for um, 16. So it activates whichever virtual environment I have. And now I can go into the desktop and I can do pip install. I can install the pip stuff or Django or whatever and have those things actually separated um, from our, pro our separate our Django project from our virtual environment folder. Uh, this is kind of up to you. It's a style thing. Uh, whichever one you're going to be using with, uh, you can work this way. Uh, again, like I like to use them completely in itself, the project and the virtual environment together. Uh, but I do know that there are some added benefits to having them uh, separated just like what we see here. All right, so if you have any questions on this, let me know. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you in the next one.